Jennifer. How are you doing? We are live on my page. Uh, can oh, we do this <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm excited to be here. I love talking about podcasting, so I can't yes, wait to share little nuggets of knowledge with your audience. That's amazing. That's amazing. So Jennifer, my viewers would be, you know, needing to know about you a little bit introduction if you just can, you know, share with my viewers, uh, whoever yeah. they're watching. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Jennifer Navarrete. I am known as at ePodcaster on Twitter, on Instagram, on anywhere that you're looking for me. I'm at ePodcaster. And that comes from back in 2005. I heard about this thing called podcasting and I realized that I could record something, put it up on the web and that no one could stop me. And I was like, sign me up. Let's do this. And I launched a show with my sister called The Morning Brewcast. And it was just the two of us drinking coffee, talking about coffee. But that was the beginning of my my kind of where I just took off understanding the power of the internet because in 2005 if you wanted to be heard you needed to be on the radio and if you mm -hmm. wanted to be seen you need to be on the TV yes. and if you wanted to be read you needed to be in the newspaper or a magazine right. but with blogs with podcasting and with video mm -hmm. um, back then it was called vlogging video blogging you yeah. could actually go out to the world and it was just mm -hmm. such a great leveler and it was such a powerful moment right that's amazing so like you know um overall you're just gonna uh talk about podcasting and before we just uh, discuss about it you told me kind of levels of podcasting if you can share those levels of podcasting with my viewers sure sure so i think of there's that there's four levels of podcasting level one is that you have a mobile phone and you have an app Great podcast. Fantastic. Use that. And, and please know that that is podcasting. If you're using a podcasting app, you can use all any number of apps. They're free. Go for it. Get it going. What I will recommend that you do is be mindful of the environment that you're recording in. So if you can, if you have a walk-in closet, go to a walk-in closet. If you have a standing closet, face the closet. If you can't do that, if you can get two pillows and put them on either side of your screen or your mm -hmm. laptop and put a towel underneath so that way it kind of buffers the sound waves, then your audio doesn't sound so hollow. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in my studio, so my mm -hmm. room is treated. Right. Um, and so that helps with the audio, but you can do little things like getting two pillows on either side, like getting a towel and putting it underneath where the table is or getting rugs and kind of being in a room where there's curtains or beds or sofas, you know, a lot of things to buffer the sound. And that's true of any type of recording. So level two is where you have a USB mic and I have a USB mic right here. So if you have a USB mic and a computer and you want to plug it in and you want to use free software, like if you have a, a Mac, then you come, it comes with GarageBand or you can use audacity which is free and is for ios um, pc and linux so it's cross-platform and you can use that to record your podcast or you can use a lot of the amazing online tools out there like Streamyard, like zencaster like clean feed to record your podcast and then there's level three where you're like i really love this podcasting thing and i am going to build a studio which is what i have here build a studio and you go through all the things and you buy all the equipment and there's a big discussion on equipment but that's a whole other animal we could do an entire show just on level three, but level three is where you're like, I'm all in, I'm gonna buy equipment, I'm gonna build a studio, whether it's in your office or in your home, and you go that route. Now, level four is where I see a lot of folks jumping in if you're new to podcasting, though, we'll either do level one, mobile mobile plus apps, or level four. And level four is where you work with a podcast producer like myself. And you can either go in the studio or you can work with them virtually. I will say I used to do a lot more in-studio work than I do now. Now all of my podcast production is virtual because the tools are that good. And I can work with clients all over the country and not have to be physically in the same location. Oh, that's amazing. Just like, you know, quick uh, kind of version of uh, a lot more details. You just explained it. Just so amazing. So, so uh, let's suppose talk about some gears. Should we have kind of fancy gears or like I've also heard about dirty level mic or we can start whatever we just have, you know, available at that moment. So please shed some light on that. Yeah, absolutely. So here's the deal. If you want a podcast, you have a mission and you have a message right. and nothing should stop you from getting that mission and that message out there. The equipment shouldn't stop you. Nothing. And it like, again, if you have a mobile phone and you can download an app, start there. It doesn't mean that you can't change and grow because you will as a podcaster, 
when you first get started, you're really trying to develop your voice, you're trying to develop your audience, you're trying to get a sense of what the show is going to be. And as opposed to waiting to get it perfect, I say start now. Start mm -hmm. now, and, and I'll, I say another thing to do is to use social audio, Twitter Spaces, Clubhouse, Wisdom, any of those free apps that are out there, start mm -hmm. there because what'll happen is as you're learning about how you wanna do your show, you will develop an audience. And the really nice thing about that is that when you are really ready to go full on podcasting, or you may decide that social audio is the way you want to do it, then you download the audio and then you submit it to the various podcasting places like Apple, like Spotify, like any number of those places. But okay. don't feel like you have to have a big studio to get started. Get your mission and your message out there. And the way to do it is to use the tools that you have right now. And if you've got a mobile phone, use one of those apps. I mean, Twitter Spaces is a great place to develop your voice or clubhouse or wisdom and then you can download the audio and get it going but the key is that don't let the text stop you mm -hmm. all right okay so when uh, you know we we talk about uh, kind of um, uh, softwares and you just mentioned uh, some of them so like in kind of hosting and distributing what other software would be thinking that we can just you know tell our viewers that they can use yeah, absolutely. So if you're going with level one, there's um, Anchor, there is Podbean, there is a whole host, a whole host of them that you can look. If you just type in podcasting inside of um, um, inside of the App Store, then you're going to be able to find any number of them and just test them out. I always download three or four, and I'm like, right. let's try this one. Let me get to see if I like it, if it makes sense for me. Not some do, some don't, and then you find the one that works for you, and then you use that one. Same thing if you're going to do social audio. Try Twitter spaces, try Clubhouse, try Wisdom, see which one resonates with you that you like, and then go, go deep into that. Mm -hmm. And then as far as the software on your computer, the, I mentioned too, GarageBand and Audacity, because those are free, okay. but there are paid programs out there. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. Adobe Audition, there's Reaper, um, mm -hmm. I use Hindenburg Journalist Pro, there's mm -hmm. any, and I've actually used them all, every single thing I'm telling you, I've used them all because for various reasons over the years, mm -hmm. whatever works for you, no one is the right one. The one that's the right, right one is the one that makes sense for you sure amazing so you also discuss about like 2.0 podcasting if you can just explain a bit about my viewers yeah so I've been talking to you a lot about legacy podcasting, the original podcasting that started way back in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about the future of podcasting, there's something called Podcasting 2.0. And right. if you go to the podcastindex.org, mm -hmm. you'll be able to learn a lot more about it. And what that does is it's really expanding the mm -hmm. ability for the RSS to have more functionality, such as mm -hmm. embedding transcripts, okay. such as putting in um videos such as putting in a value block and the value block is what's most fascinating right now because the value block is the opportunity for listeners to give you good feedback sorry to give okay. you good um to give you good um like if they want to pay you as opposed to Patreon, as opposed to tipping, they can actually say, hey, I really like this ep this podcast that Jennifer's doing. I'm going to stream her some Satoshis and Satoshis are a cryptocurrency. It's a fractional amount of a Bitcoin. And I'm going to stream her five Satoshis for every minute I listen to her podcast. Or um, I really like what she said at minute 12 and I'm going to boost her 500 Satoshis. And you may be thinking, well, what is a Satoshis? It fluctuates depending on the price of Bitcoin. Let's just say that uh, 2,000 Satoshis is equal to one U.S. dollar. Mm -hmm. And if I sent you 500 Satoshis, I would be sending you, in essence, you know, a, a quarter of a dollar. So a quarter. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot, but then it has the opportunity to grow because it is cryptocurrency. But it's kind of a nice thing. But the mm -hmm. podcastindex.org is a really great place to learn about it. But also, if you want to look at the podcasting 2.0 app, so it's not going to be Apple, it's not going to be Spotify. It's going to be some of these new ones that are mm -hmm. iOS, Android, and desktop. You go to pod, the new podcastapps.com. Wow. But, mm -hmm. but even if you go to podcastindex.org, there's a link there for apps that will take you there. And you can okay. look at all the new apps that allow for that new functionality. Mm -hmm. And it's a great new frontier for podcasting oh, wow that's amazing so we're just going to have a look of that website as well then you know that's going to be good learning for all of us so like you know very quick if you can just share some advice because i've just heard like before recording before doing your any kind of audio or you just deliver the speech you're not supposed to you know have yogurt and uh, some kind of other st uh, stuff you can just mention so that my viewers can understand that you know what we're talking about sure so as a as a podcast producer, one of the things that I, I do is I send my clients the, the talent checklist. Mm -hmm. And the talent checklist is part of it has this. 
the day before you should be hydrating. Okay. Um, if you're starting to hydrate the day of, it's a little bit too late, but we can still take care of that. So hydrate the day before so that your vocal cords are, are ready to roll. You're not going to be clearing your throat. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have, have dry throat. You're going to be ready to roll. The other thing mm-hmm. is no dairy on mm-hmm. the morning of or, or no bananas. No mm-hmm. dairy meaning no yogurt, no milk, n- no, no cheese, nothing that has milk in it. Simply because dairy and bananas are mucus producing mm-hmm. foods and it'll kind of clog mm-hmm. up your vocal cords. So right. if you hear someone clearing their throat a lot, it could be because they had dairy that morning. The mm-hmm. other thing is, let's say that you didn't have time to hydrate. Uh, one mm-hmm. of the drinks that you can have is a hot cup of water with some lime or lemon. All right. Squeeze it in there and you mm-hmm. can drink that. And what that does is that does a really good job of kind of soothing your throat. Another oh. thing that you can do is that you can, if you're, you ever hear someone who's talking and they're like, when they're talking because yes. they kind of a, a mucus, right, and, yes. Well, so what you can do is you can eat a green apple and it'll Mm. cleanse your mouth. Green apple, not red apple, not yellow apple. Green apple is the only thing. Take, take, eat a little bit of that and it'll kind of cleanse your, your palate. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way to kind of improve your vocal Mm -hmm. for your performance. And that's really Mm -hmm. what this is. This is a performance. Right. Okay. Jennifer, thank you so much for coming. Uh, in the next session, I'll be discussing with you, we're going to be talking about again, Web3, you know, also, you know, more related to, you know, what podcasting and Web.3. So then we can discuss in the next session as well. So for today, thank you so much for coming on a short notice. And I believe that uh, this session would be insightful for my viewers also. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited to be here. I hope that folks if that will be inspired to start speaking their mission and their message. Mm-hmm. And one more thing for my viewers, because see, we are just closing this up, wrapping this up. If they have any kind of questions, they can type uh, on the session. So then I will just refer this to Jennifer and she would love to, you know, respond on that. Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely.